Hey guys, so thank you for tuning in to another video. So basically I'm showing you how I make my personal oil concoction that has helped me grow longer and stronger healthy natural hair. So I do my oil mixture by using the 234 method. That's basically two tablespoons of your thickest oil, three tablespoons of your medium thick oil, and then four tablespoons of your thinnest, most Mm, thin oil basically so I just like to begin by taking two tablespoons of my thickest oil which is my virgin unrefined coconut oil I then go in with my extra dark, because it's so I like it, extra dark. <laughs> um, my extra dark Jamaican castor oil, and I take three tablespoons of that oil. Now I go in and I take four tablespoons of my jojoba oil or jojoba, however it said, yeah, I take that oil. And like I said before, four tablespoons. I love this oil and I also use this oil to take my makeup off. So I am one of those people who remove their makeup with oil. So I want to close my applicator bottle and I want to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, take it and shake it. Hey, take it and shake it. So the oil does appear a bit cloudy. That's only because I used the coconut oil at a temperature that was about room temp or lower. Um, so it was a little bit more solidified, but still soft enough for me to use to make the mixture. The cloudiness has no effect on the mixture or its effectiveness in your hair. And by the next morning, it will be clear by then. But I just took the oil and I put it on my hand so you can see the consistency. <laughs> So here I'm going to show you how I use my oil mixture just about every day or every other day. Um, I know some people oil their scalp maybe every three days or every week. I prefer to use a little bit of oil just about every day. Um, my hair has shown to have better results doing it that way so that's the only reason why I really prefer to do it that way. Um, so my hair is in a was in a bun. Um, I, because of nursing school, m some of my classes, I do have to have my hair in a bun. So my ends do get damaged a lot or get dried out a lot. 
So I like to focus on my ends and then make my way towards my scalp with my oil. Please, please, please focus on your ends. Your, hand, your ends are the driest portions of your hair and they need the most tender love and care. Um, and especially because I wear my hair in a lot of buns, I definitely make sure that my ends are very well moisturized, whether it's with the oil or with a leave-in conditioner. So for application to the scalp, I don't like to apply a lot of oil to my scalp only because your scalp does naturally produce its own oil. So you want to really be careful when you're applying oil to your scalp. Very, very minimal. And you want to make sure that you're not clogging those pores as well. So here I'm just repeating the same steps to the other side of my hair. Again, focus on those ends and make your way towards the scalp. Your ends, again, are the driest portions of your hair. And they need the most love and care, especially if you want to retain length and have healthy, strong hair. My last step after wrapping my hair in a bun is applying oil to my edges. Um, they are very short, small hairs that do experience a lot of damage just because I do wear headbands or sometimes the scarf comes off at night. So I like to keep those nice and moisturized, especially at night when I'm about to go to sleep. So that is my oil concoction. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and comment below if you try this oil mixture and it's and it's worked for you or comment some video ideas or what else you guys want to see from me again thank you for watching this video and i'll see you later bye